I just got way more bullish on Caspa. I mean, holy crap, that was a huge buy we saw today and a green candle. I mean, I've always been bullish on Casper, right? It's not like, wow, what a surprise. Now I'm bullish. Nah, man, I, I've been bullish on Casper since the start. And I'm still bullish on Casper. And this just confirmed the fact that Casper is the one to become the next Bitcoin, the next Ethereum, and to be the next best crypto. You see this big green candle. Whales are watching. Whales are buying. People are buying this crypto. People know Casper is the best one. I mean, you just look at the previous all-time high of a penny. We had a bounce off that penny lately. And, um, you know, we almost came back down to a penny. But, no, the whales said, no, we're going to buy the dip. So uh, what do you think is going to happen? Man, I, I'm saying um, Casper probably still on a bit of a downtrend. Like, um, if Casper were to break above, you know, this level or actually, hold on, that's too much. If it breaks above this level, right, of 1.7 cents, um, then I might be more bullish on Caspa if it gets above, actually, I'll, I'll say two cents. I'll get more bullish, but I'm just saying to be realistic. I think short term could have another little dumper to the downside. I ain't trying to fuck Caspa. I'm still bullish. Okay. I'm still really bullish on Caspa. Don't hate me in the comments. I love Caspa. All right. I'm just saying, just trying to be realistic. I think it's going to come down again. Um, but here's what is good long term. All right. Speaking long term, see volume, a little bit of volume here. And then it was consistent volume down here. And then another nice uh, group of volume here. Because, see, most cryptos, they do a pump and dump. And when they do the pump and dump, the volume kind of just dies down to shit. And it just goes down to zero. But the volume for Casper is actually really consistent. I mean, look at all these candles. So I'm just saying, you know, we got the first group, big group of volume. We got the second big group of volume. And it's just a natural pattern. Like, we're going to have number three is going to be like mega ultra god candles and we're going to be smashing all-time highs uh in a few months in my opinion so uh for me personally i'm gonna wait for caspa to cool off a little bit i want to see the volume die down a little bit more because you know it's basically a falling knife it's a really dangerous time to buy but uh that's just for me because you know i watch the charts religiously if i were to buy this and hold it for at least the rest of this calendar year I would definitely buy Caspa. Now, it's at one and a half cents. This is a bargain of a deal. Anything under four cents, in my opinion, is a bargain and should definitely be bought. So it's looking good long term. You know, all these ASIC futters are going to be crying. All the early sellers are going to be crying because, you know, when you know that Caspa is the gem, you know you have the gem. There's no, like, you know, debating, like, oh, my God, it's dumping. It's going down. Nah, it's not because, like, it's, it's looking bullish, right? So... Yeah, anyways, what I'm saying is that Caspa has potential to become, you know, one penny. And if that happens, I'm definitely going to buy a crap load of Caspa if it hits a penny. That's the absolute floor I see. And the reason I say a penny is because that was the previous all-time highs. It's just a repeating pattern that every time we pump, we come back down to the previous all-time highs. See, most people draw a whole bunch of lines on the chart and stupid shit. But um, the, the thing that is really easy to just read a chart is just look at how low the price goes okay so you see this little uptrend line that i just drew this is why i'm saying casper can come down more because you know i'm touching it to here i'm touching it to here and then it's gonna it's gotta touch it again eventually right another way you can do this is to use the moving averages but i'm too lazy to use moving averages i like to draw i like to draw lines on the chart so i'm just saying casper has not yet come down to this uptrend line so could come down a little bit but either way the difference is like super minimal and you know what else is important is to take your Caspa off the exchanges. Hopit just got shut down the other day and everyone lost all their money on Hopit. People using Mexi have told me that Mexi has blocked their accounts and frozen withdrawals for suspicious activity. And CoinEx has also banned the USA. So if you don't want to lose your Caspa, I strongly recommend using a Tangem hardware wallet. I store a lot of Caspa on here. It's very safe and trustworthy. So if you want to use the Tangem, use my code GALAXY and you can get five dollars off and you can get a three pack for like 50 bucks i recommend a three pack it's a lot safer so yeah use the tangent and also i would recommend checking out my patreon if you want to join my private group we have a lot of you know caspa maxis in here we're serious about making money for the next bull run if you get on the vip tier you can join my group you can get my buy alerts my sell alerts track my portfolio and just see what's up with all my trades the biggest thing is going to be the private community that's what people like the most so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one